Hi, everyone, and welcome back to another tutorial in our mini series on building websites with R blocked out. In today's video, we'll show you how to set up the contact form using Formspree so people can email you directly through your website. So let's go ahead and get started by taking a look at our website. And here, the first thing I'm going to do is just go down to the contact form. And of course, we don't have this set up, but just to show you what happens when you don't have this set up, I'll just do a test email. And you can see we're taken to a new page that says form not found. So this is what we're going to set up today. So the first thing we'll do is go to the Watch Me Getting Started documentation. And I'll scroll down to find the content contact widget. And here, if we scroll down a bit on this page, we can see there's information on setting up the contact form. And now you actually have a few different options of how you want to set, how you wish to set up your um, contact form. But today we're going to focus on setting it up using Formscreen. So what we'll have to do is, if it's your, if you've never used Formscreen before, you'll have to create an account or sign in. And really, all that we have to do is, in our contact widget, enter in the ID from the form ID, which we'll set up in just a minute. So I'll just quickly show you what this looks like in our studio. If we go to our contact markdown, so in home, here it is. And we can scroll down and see, this is uh, what we just saw on the Watch Me website. And we just have to enter in our ID right here. Okay, so now let's set up a Formspree account. So I actually already have a Formspree account, but it's very simple if you've never done it before. You'll just have to go click get started and make sure, of course, you use an email that you want to be linked to your website. So I'm going to just sign in. OK, and if this is your first time, you'll have to check your email and verify your account. Um, and then you might even have to refresh this page. But once you're here, you can see right now I haven't created any forms. So all we have to do is create a new form and let's title it academic website. Okay, and it's as easy as that to set it up. And the only tricky thing is, is knowing that this piece of information is what we need to put into our studio. So after that final, um, slash here, we want to copy this final, uh, these final characters. So let's go back to our studio and we'll just replace the test here. So that's all that we're changing. We're just importing or just copying and pasting the ID into our studio and saving it here. Okay, so let's just double check that this worked. Um, so I'll just serve our site now. And let's just do another test. And here now this time it says the form was su submitted successfully. And we can double check by going to our email and seeing that we in indeed do have a submission with all the information um, and the test. OK, great. So the last thing I will point out just very quickly is on form screen you'll see that there are multiple different plans you can choose. Um, so we can just look at the quickly look at the plan compares, comparison. And of course, there is a free option. But do just note that you're only allowed up to 50 monthly submissions. So that is totally fine for us. Um, but I did just want to quickly point that out. OK, great. So the of course, as always, the final thing is we want to push all of our changes to GitHub. So we'll just stage co um, and commit. And finally push. And we're all set. So now your contact form, it should all be set up. And 
Thank you so much for joining us today and we look forward to seeing you next time.